In 2007, National Geographic explorer Alberto Nava and a team of divers were mapping cave passages in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. I mean, you're always looking for something new to discover, but we didn't know what we were going to find when we started on, on that day. The cave is known as Hoyo Negro, which means black hole. Alberto was exploring areas now flooded with water that were above sea level 12,000 to 13,000 years ago. Most of our dives are pretty routine. You know, you just keep finding more tunnels and more tunnels. But every so you get lucky and, and you run into these discoveries that have been trapped there for thousands of years. The team found themselves in an unexplored cavern. We just pop up into this huge void. 140 feet deep and 200 feet wide, littered with the bones of ancient, now extinct creatures. Everywhere you point your light, there were animal remains, there were human remains. Eventually, my friend points his light to this cranium. And all of a sudden, we discover the most complete and the oldest human remain found on the Americas. Soon, the explorers returned with scientists to study and preserve their discovery. A skeleton estimated to be 13,000 years old, which they named Naya. You know, you're in the water and you're looking at this cranium. You could see these, these dark eye sockets. I have this feeling these eyes have not seen anything since thousands of years ago. And you're kind of traveling back in time. By studying the remains, they were able to determine that the skeleton was from a teenage girl during the last ice age. In the case of Naya, we have more of her skeleton. The more amazing thing is that you still have intact DNA that researchers can extract from. So that helps you figure out the migration history from humans into the Americas. Naya's DNA matches today's Native Americans. This suggests that early Americans migrated from a single region in Asia 20,000 years ago. Most scientists believe a small group of Asian hunters head into the East Asian Arctic during the last glacial maximum, the most recent period in Earth's history when glacial ice sheets were at their peak. With most of Earth's moisture contracted into ice, sea levels dropped by more than 300 feet, exposing a land bridge between Asia and the Americas. The migration of humans to the Americas had begun, and by 15,000 years ago, people had found the land south of the ice. Data indicates that Naya is a descendant of these early Asian explorers. When we go in this cave, we, we think that we're doing this great exploration, but in reality, the original explorers of these tunnels were Naya and, and, and her people. Ojo Negro and Naya are the star of this project and we all work to bring their stories to light so we understand a little bit better about where do we come from.